Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering the Dragon spacecraft for its 14th commercial resupply services mission. Coming up in about 10 seconds, we have max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's one of the highest stress states on the vehicle. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicles experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. Just passed through max Q. This first stage burn will last for about another minute and 10 seconds. As we leave Earth's atmosphere, you'll notice the exhaust plume gradually expanding. Back engine chill. And just heard the call out that the upper stage engine, the Merlin vacuum, has begun chilling in, similar to how we chill in the nine Merlin engines before uh, the initial liftoff of the Falcon 9. Now coming up in rapid succession, at about T plus two minutes and 40 seconds, we'll have Miko, our main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, followed by ignition of the upper stage engine. Let's watch. Wait, Miko. Stage separation. Recognition. And what you just saw there was a successful shutdown of the nine Merlin engines of our first stage, followed by separation of our first stage from our second stage using uh, four pneumatic actuators at the forward end of the stage. Uh, and then after that, you saw ignition of our upper stage engine. You may have noticed uh, a piece of metal flying away from the engine. Uh, that's a stiffener ring that protects the larger uh, Merlin vacuum nozzle uh, on ascent. That's totally nominal. And on the left side of your screen there, that's actually the dragon nose cone that it's popped it's off uh, and is falling back to space. A dragon nose cone falling off, totally nominal. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, we use that nose cone to protect the forward end of dragon uh, on ascent through the aerodynamic, uh, the atmospheric drag we see. Uh, that's a good sign. That means we're outside of the atmosphere. So the forces on the forward end of the vehicle uh, are significantly reduced. <laughs> 